Welcome back to Wall Street Confidential. We're talking about a sector that perhaps is nearing a bottom, or maybe it's already bottomed. Jim, right. natural gas? I don't think it's bottom. Um, I see Chesapeake shutting in, and that's uh, important because they're the second largest. But you need to see everybody shut in. I mean, what's happened here is, is that you we're uh, finding a lot more natural gas. I think it's been kept up a little bit artificially. If oil goes, oil's in a range 90 to 110, but you know, I, I now, there's a lot of rosy projections for natural gas and we're not gonna get them. Uh, this is particularly bad for the drillers. The drillers, and let me just explain why I'm, I'm reluctant. On Friday, we had a gigantic short squeeze in the oil and drillers, just gigantic. And it, it predicated, it was predicated upon the notion that there were some hedge funds that were short that got caught, but also that oil will keep going up. The near-term oil contract spiked because of a short squeeze. Again, everything's happening because of, of hedge funds that have no liquidity. There's mm -hmm. just no liquidity to do anything. Um, but oil's got to come down. In other words, before this, they were up too much. I got to see where they were last Wednesday. Go back to where they were last Wednesday, and then I'll make a judgment whether I think Chesapeake's up. Uh, I got hung this morning on National Oil Varco. I mean, National Oil Varco, Halliburton, Schlumberger, uh, Neighbors, the, the, it's, it's, this is all really bad for them, and it's not in the numbers. Um, National Oil Varco, we, there was also an article in the Wall Street Journal about how um, the Korean shipbuilders are going to start building rigs. The news is negative, and, uh, and it's, I, I never mind being cute to say, okay, well, listen, every time this guy's shut in, um, the, we've gotten a bottom. But every time he's ever done it as secondary, we got a bottom, and that sure didn't work. Mm -hmm. So nothing's, not a lot of patterns are working. So, I mean, anybody who's looked at this and said, well, we typically got gotten a bottom, I think that's right. You can make that judgment. But the stocks had a big, big move last week. So I don't trust them. All right. And, I, you know, NOV, I mean, I you know, it's opened down a little bit. I wish I had gotten off the alert to sell it. I just did, I did it, but I didn't have a chance to get out of it myself. And talk to analysts about this sector, Jim, who follow this closely, and they say whether you buy natural gas here or in six months, the trajectory, you know, is so so glorious. Totally true. You know, so what does totally it matter true. in ten years where you well, buy? See, the problem gas? is, is that this is a market where you'll lose twenty five percent, not five percent, twenty five percent, while you wait. It, 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 this is a very strange market, and if, if you're wrong, you're not wrong for a few points. Right. Um, plus, I mean, I'm not a chartist, but I look at the charts for these. It, 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 they could fall 25% in a heartbeat. So I just think that the risk-reward is bad to wait and that you might as well just wait and to see whether we repeal last week's move, and mm -hmm. then we'll make a judgment. You need the stomach for this. Oh, my God, yes. All right. Thanks so much, Jim, on natural gas. Check out aaplus.com for more. This is Wall Street Confidential. Stay tuned.